charging by induction. Now, we've established that charging by conduction means that we touch to create a path for electron flow. Well, you can also create areas of charge without even touching. For example, if we have a neutral object and we bring a strongly charged negative object close to one side of it, well, what happens? Well, we remember that electrons repel electrons. So even though they don't touch, all the electrons in the neutral object are trying to get away from that negatively charged object. They're repelled. So they all push over and they can end up on the other side of the neutral object. They're pushing towards that side. And effectively, you've made the neutral object half positive and half negative without even touching it. And this is charging by induction. Now, if you wanted to get really creative, you could touch this side of the neutral object with another neutral object, and we'd have a type of charging by conduction going on here. They're touching, creating a path. As far as the third neutral object is concerned, it's a negative object. As it touches its side, and there's an excess of electrons there, Therefore, when they touch, the electrons jump over to the neutral object to get away from each other, again repelling. And once the objects are separated and the negatively charged object is moved away, the electrons in the middle object, they spread out again. And now we see that there aren't enough electrons anymore. The object is now positively charged. It has a lack of electrons. And the extra electrons in the third object, the ones that jumped over from the middle object, well, that makes that one negatively charged. So let's review here. The induction part was where we used the charged object to push the electrons over to the other side of the neutral object. There was no touching involved. The electrons never left the neutral object but were just kind of pushed over as far as they could due to the electrostatic forces. Now, in order to get creative and leave the items permanently charged, all we had to do was bring in the third object and charge by conduction. That is, we needed to create a path for those electrons to flow so they can stay in a separate object.